Pastor Ben Dan only speaks what God tells him to say. And so in welcoming you, I just want to also inform us that um, listen very well to what he has to say to the nation and to all of us and do well to report exactly what he says because what he says will be exactly what he has heard from God to say to the nation. To give a brief announcement to the city of Accra and the nation Ghana at large. And it is that the annual ban on drumming and noise making in the city of Accra, which extends to affect activities in the holy house of God, that is the church of Jesus Christ, should be considered as a thing of the past from today, except it is revealed to exclude effects in the house of God. I'm speaking not on behalf of any organization or group but as the voice of the heavenly kingdom of Jesus Christ to the nations of that matter, Ghana and the city, I declare this truth, that the situation where men on the earth impose a ban on drumming and noise making and extend it to affect activities in the holy house of God, where Jesus Christ by his spirit and the scriptures is the only person who has the authority to regulate what happens in God's house is a matter of a high level spiritual disorder. In fact, it is a reproach to the holy house of God in such a city. And that is why as a prince of the heavenly kingdom of the Lord Jesus, I have spiritually reversed that disorder and removed that reproach on the house of God in the city. This has been done in the realm of the spirit and shall be so in the physical. Just to make myself a little clearer, what I'm saying in simple terms is that that annual ban on drumming and noise making in the city of Accra, which extends to affect activities in the house of God, is hereby spiritually banned, except it is revealed to exclude effects in the holy house of God. And it shall not happen from 2022. Before I round up this short address, I would like to stress that the ultimate purpose for this address is to make known to the stakeholders what the current state of affairs is in the spirit so that they have about a whole year from now to appropriately ad advise themselves towards 2022. And the reason is that usually when men on the earth are acting and they don't know the realities of the situation in the spirit, they are likely to take actions which cannot exempt them from the spiritual implications of those actions. On this note, I hereby invoke upon the city of Accra the blessing of peace, progress, and advancement, and every good that has been withheld from this city and the nation because of this reproach on the house of God. And I usher this city into a new state of greatness and advancement as has never been experienced in the history of this city, now and forevermore. In the name of Jesus, amen. I was trying to ask if um, you've met with the traditional authorities who annually impose a ban on uh, noise making. I want to know whether you've met them and you've discussed this with them or you intend to uh, actually uh, discuss it with them. And secondly, you said um, in 2022, the the ban will not happen. Please, is that what you said? Yes, please. Thank you. So I want to find out um, what, what, what will be your action 
if the traditional authorities decide not to listen to what you are suggesting to them or your counsel for them in terms of what you have received in the spiritual world. Thank you. Thank you so much for those questions. For the first question, um, this is the first time I'm bringing this information to everybody in the city and the nation, and that is why I've called you to uh, receive the information and transmit to the whole city. Concerning what will be done if any of the stakeholders uh, refuse sort of to heed to uh, what we have said, um, it's a good question, but it's outside the scope of this address. Thank you. Um, I'd like to find out, are you aware that this announcement will generate a lot of issues? And are you ready for public, ready for, because we've had instances where uh, one gospel artist, I mean, he made, she made such a statement that later, she was forced to, uh, you know, go and apologize. So, are you ready for such uh, humiliation if I should put it? <laughs> <laughs> Interesting question. God doesn't get humiliated. And so, I, I don't know what you mean. It's a, it's a declaration of a state of affairs in the spirit. And that, that's what has been said. I pray I'm able to <laughs> recapture all that. The first one was about um, how the ban affects the church. Is that it? Yeah, to what extent? To extent? All right. Um, there are levels of authorities. God Almighty is the creator of the heavens and the earth. And the Bible says that all authorities are set by God. And whatever any authority sets must be in conformity with the superior authority. When it comes to the house of God, it's a holy matter. And in the house of God, only Jesus Christ, by his spirit through the scriptures, prescribes what should be done in his house. As to the issue of Ghana being a secular um, nation and whether what we are announcing is crossing carpet. The announcement says that the ban is banned except it is reviewed to exclude its effects in the house of God. That means nobody is against anybody doing anything. In the same way that you just said that, are we not trying to cross carpet, think the other side, and you see that something is crossing carpet. Thank you. The address says that the ban has been spiritually banned except it's reviewed to exclude. So if there is a ban that does not affect what goes on in the house of God, nobody has a problem with that ban. So the address is clear on that. Um, as to whether an organization has been contacted or not, I made it clear that I'm speaking not on behalf of any organization. But as the voice of God, I make the announcement. Thank you. From Ignite Media, that's Metro TV and then Original FM. Thank you. And then Original TV. I would like to find out if 2022, what you have proposed does not happen, what is your next line of action? Thank you so much. I think I addressed a similar question that, uh, it's a good question, but it's outside the scope of the conference. Today is just to announce what is real in the spirit for stakeholders to be aware of the current state of affairs in the spirit and uh, act appropriately. Okay. I want to know if this is a prophecy or it is a message you are sending to the traditional council. And then two, you mentioned that 2022, the ban will not be imposed, I don't know if I'm right. But is it that the, band, the traditional council is not going to impose the ban, or the churches are not going to observe the ban? And how does the ban affect the church? Okay, let's go one by one. The first one was, the first question was, 
<laughs> no, it's not a prophecy. I, I stated a, a fact in the spirit that the ban has been spiritually banned except it is revealed to exclude its effect in the house of God. So it's not a prophecy. It's a statement of fact in the spirit. And then the second question is, uh, is an attack on traditional elders and all that. Stick to the facts. There is an announcement and information for the city and for the nation. Then those who are stakeholders and are concerned will know what to do with the information. So in my address, I did not mention anyone's name. Let's give the information as an announcement and leave it to whoever takes it as um, a stakeholder to filter what he thinks addresses him. Is that okay? All right, thank you.